okay? If we did radar, sometimes you can get radar ranges. If you have radar in your boat, you put the little cursor on, on the place, it's gonna tell you the distance from where you are to that, to that place, right? So with a radar range, it's a little bit different. So most of the time, radar is gonna be off points of land, right? So your radar is gonna show you land. It's not gonna show you as much uh, items, things, powers, tanks, lighthouses. It's gonna show you land. So let's assume that you're out here in your boat somewhere, but you don't know exactly where you are, okay? And you don't have a GPS to give you latitude and longitude and all that good things. So we say, oh, and I figure out where we am, where I am. How am I gonna do that? Well, I can do it with a radar range. I can take my radar and I can find out what the distance is from here to here with my radar. And then I get my dividers, my, my, my compass, and I can just take and say, okay, let's say that that says that that's uh, 4.2 miles away, that piece of land. So I go on the side of the chart, I measure 4.2, I put the pointy end on the land, and I draw a, a, a circle. I don't know if I can do this very well with this thing. I wanna just do it by hand. And I draw a circle 4.2 miles away from this piece of land. This is 4.2 miles. All I know is that I am somewhere 4.2 miles away from that piece of land. Then I get this other piece of land on my radar, and I find out that that's 6.8 miles away. I take 6.8 miles on my divider, and I put the pointy end here, and I draw an arc 6.8 miles. And where those two cross is my position. It's figuring out your position with radar ranges. And once again, on a Coast Guard exam, they'll give you two points of land, two positions, and they'll tell you how far away it is based on radar ranges. Just get your dividers, get the mileage on those, draw the arcs, where the two arcs cross is your location. That's as simple as radar ranges is. We can do it from any kind of pieces of land, just scribe an arc over here, scribe an arc where they cross, that's your position. That's your fix. And it's a good fix. All right? Can it cross twice? It can. That's the bad news. Right? But if it does cross twice, you're going to have to, you know, in, in, in most cases, like, where is this going to cross twice? I guess if we continue to describe around like this and this one around like this. All right? It's going to have to come all the way around here. So we have a pretty good idea, you know, and you're not going to, hopefully you're not going to just do this like in the middle of the, middle of the day where you haven't known where you were. So you have a ballpark idea that you shouldn't be that far along yet. But yeah, it can, the possibility that it does. But when you do your exercises in the book later on, you'll see that they won't. All right? Radar range is wicked easy. Make believe that your divider is your radar. You could technically even do it with your GPS because your GPS says, put the cursor on the piece of land or the, or, or the object. How far is it away? Let's say that the, the function of your GPS, the part that tells you latitude and longitude is broken, not working, but you want to figure out where you are. Put the, put the cursor on that place, hit go to. It'll tell you how far away that is and then make believe it's, a, it's radar and just Use your dividers to scribe those lines. It's very cool.